Hey everyone, I'm Wyatt and today I'm going to show you how to make a shift to sprint script on Roblox. Okay, so before I begin showing you how to make this script, I'll show you it in action. I run forward and when I press shift, the player sprints and when I let go, it'll stop sprinting. So now that you know how the script works, I'm going to show you actually how to make it. As always, the paste of in link and the model link for the code is going to be in the description. So the first thing we want to do is go under starter GUI and create a new script called, it's going to be a local script, and we're going to name it shift to sprint. Now, this is going to be the script that actually says when the player presses shift, it's going to make them sprint. So the first thing we actually need to do is get a reference to the player. So we're going to say local player equals game dot players dot local player. All right, so we're also going to need to get the mouse because whenever the player presses a key down, that actually comes through the mouse. So if we say local mouse equals player colon get mouse. All right, so now we're actually going to make the code that says when the player presses shift. So we're going to say mouse dot key down and we're going to connect that to a function. And we're going to get the key inside of that function. So the key will be turned as 0, 1, or 2, and in this case, shift is 0. So we're going to say if key is equal to 0, or if the key is equal to shift, then we want to enable sprinting. Now we can come back to this code in a little bit and actually make the player sprint. That's relatively simple. But now we also want something that says when the player lets go of shift. So we're going to say mouse dot key up and then we want to connect that to a function as well and get the key and we're going to say once again if the key is zero or shift then we want to stop sprinting now the way we're going to achieve the sprinting effect is by changing the walk speed to the desired speed so we can just create a variable up here called sprint speed We'll, change, we'll just set it to 40 for now. So now what we're going to do is actually set the speed when they sprint and set the speed back to the walking speed when they stop sprinting. So when they sprint, we're going to say player.character.humanoid.walkspeed equals sprint speed. So this will set the player speed to the sprinting speed so they'll go super fast. And now we also want to set it back to the original speed, which in Roblox the speed is 16. So we're going to say player.character.humanoid.walkspeed equals 16. And let's just test this out. Okay, so as you can see, when I press shift, my player starts going super fast. And when I let go shift, it goes super slow again. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today about scripting. If you'd like to get the uh, model or the script, I have the Pacebin link and the Roblox model link in the description, as always. And uh, I'll see you later.